Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Life on Turkey Lane. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been around for a little while. We did have a, a family emergency um, that took me away from the camera for a little while, um, but I'm back now. And um, tonight I just have a short little video. Actually, I had promised a friend of ours that I would show her how to thread up a sewing machine, and so I'm gonna do that in this video. Um, but first I wanted to show you um, why I need the sewing machine tonight. And, um, we found some a few things like I, I mentioned in the last video um, we're doing just a little bit of a makeover to my daughter's room I'm not gonna do any painting or anything like that um, I just decided I'm just gonna clean the walls up and leave them like they are um, I think they're the same color as as my this is my bedroom here um, they're the same color as my wall in here so um, but anyway um, we found a few things for her makeover and I'm gonna show you what they are um, I was looking for a, a vintage Chanel, um, like bedspread or blanket. I didn't necessarily find Chanel, but we did find a vintage, um, uh, like blanket here. Um, but it has one little hole in it, and that's what I'm going to show you. Um, I don't know if I can bring you up closer or not, so you can see the hole. It's just a small little hole right there. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you how to sew up. Now this... Blanket does have a little bit of staining on it, but I don't think you'll be able to see it too much. It's it's vintage. It's old. Um, so parts of it looks pretty white, and then the other parts of it look kind of yellowed. Um, but I don't think that's going to make a big difference. We kind of want her room to look a little bit on the antique and old side. Um, also, um, I found a little bit of a few doilies that we're gonna I'm going to try to do maybe some kind of a project with it them and I found this old um, table runner now my daughter loves florals and I thought this would look beautiful on top of that little dresser that we just redid so um, anyway and also I've had for a long time I'm gonna point you over here um, I've had for a long time when I was doing a little business of mine um, I had a little business that I used to do like at church, uh, ladies conferences and stuff like that where I sold homemade products. I made soaps and floral things and just different things. And this was one of my bodices that I had for display. And I think this is gonna look really cute in Kayla's room as well. So anyway, I will be back. I'm gonna bring you into like the sewing room area and we're gonna sew up this little um, hole in the blanket and um, I'm going to show Hope, my friend, my daughter's friend, actually. I'm going to show Hope how to thread a sewing machine. So um, I hope you'll stay with me, and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so this is your typical sewing machine. This is a Singer sewing machine. It's an old one. Um, actually, it was given to me. Um, a friend that I worked with, sorry, it's dirty. Um, a friend that I worked with, had this machine and she said that she took it to the shop because something wasn't working on it and when she got it back something still wasn't working on it and so she said if you want it you can have it I don't know if you'll be able to use it and I took it home and I took the bobbin part out and they had the bobbin part in there crooked and so it kept breaking needles and I just took it out and put it in right and it's worked ever since I've never had a bit of problems with this machine so anyway it is, um, I, I use it all the time. Anyway, it's a great machine. Um, now, different brand sewing machines probably thread up differently than this one, but they're generally the same. Now, um, I'm going to show you, but I will be using white thread, so I'm just going to pull my thread out here. Now, um, when you buy a spool of thread, generally one end of the thread because it's it's it has like a notch in it and i can't see it on this one but usually your thread will have a notch in it and um sorry you can't see my face real well but anyway this is just a cheap sewing thread probably from walmart or dollar store or something um anyway what i usually do is i'll take off the end the paper it's got paper on each end but I will usually thread up my machine where the notched side of the spool, and I think I just felt it. Yeah, there's a notch in this spool right here. And I always put my notch 
side to the back of the sewing thing because if if you put it where the notch side is on the front and your thread's going to be going that way that notch could catch your thread and and cause it to break so anyway you just put your your thread your spool of thread on the little spindle for your thread and i put the notch side at the back um, then you're going to put your little cap on to hold it in place and now I don't put that on there real tight because I want my spool to be able to move. Okay, and then my my machine has a little thing in the back that holds the thread and you just put, put you can't really see me doing it, but the thread just kind of goes in between the little notch there and it holds it in place. And then I bring it around and this machine has a little, I can't really get you zoomed in any closer but this machine has like a little pulley, little thing there. And I just tuck the thread behind that. I gotta put my camera back down. And then, um, then I guide it through the thread guide down this way. It goes down one side and up the other side of this little thing here. And then there is a, not a hook at the top here that you just slide your thread into. Okay, and I don't know if you can see that very well, um, but so I've gone from this, I've gone from the where the spool is through this little hook around this little wheel down this side of the there's like a notched edge here or like a, a bar there. You go down this side of the bar up around the other side of the bar, and then you'll go through this little guide okay and then you come back down and now my machine has a little hook like right here and i'm just going to hook my thread behind that okay and then down we're heading towards the needle and down where i put my needle where my foot and everything goes on at there's a little another little hook right here to put my thread in and i'm just going to tuck the thread back around that now i'm going to put my foot down Okay, now you need to make sure that your your thread doesn't have any string hanging off of it because now, now is when you're going to thread your needle. And um, anymore, the older I've got and the harder, I'm going to turn my light on so I can see. And you just thread your needle. Now... Once you get your thread in there, say you have to thread your bobbin. Now, I'm gonna show you, my bobbin's already threaded through there, but I'm gonna show you. Okay, I've got my, my bobbin holder here, and I've got my bobbin of thread. Okay, now when I thread my bobbin, I always make sure that I put it in the thing where my thread comes up through the top, and it's gonna go around that little thing and just slip in there, okay? Then I'm going to put my bobbin holder, now I know this is a lot to catch on to, I'm going to put my bobbin holder back in there until it clicks in. Now with your thread that's in the needle, you're going to push, you're going to turn your wheel over here, the wheel that's on the side of the machine. You're going to turn your wheel until the needle goes down to where the bobbin area is. And when it starts coming back up, you're going to pull your thread that's hooked to your needle and you're gonna pull it until the bobbin thread comes up. So now your, th your machine is completely threaded, okay? Now I'm gonna do that whole system one more time in slow motion for you without talking, and hopefully you can see it all. And, um, and then I'm gonna sew up this little hole. I'm gonna show you how I do that on this particular blanket where I don't have like a thick seam, you know, like, Normally, when you sew something together, you have two sides, and there's a, it's the seam that connects those two sides. Well, since this is a blanket, and we don't want there to be a, like a, a lump there, I'm going to show you what I do to fix that. Okay, so one more time, I'm going to um, I'm going to thread this machine, and I'll, I'll slow the camera down whenever I edit, so that you can see it. Okay.
Okay. Now, um, like I said, um, I will have slowed that process down in the video so you could catch everything. But that's how you generally thread a sewing machine. Now, like I said, all of them are different. But if you get the thread from the spool around the thing in down into the um, to the needle and you get the bobbin thread pulled up, you should be good to go. Okay, now this little hole, I've got to try to get it in my machine where I just have a single layer of the fabric here. So I'm gonna pull that through. This may take me a minute because this is a big thick blanket and I've got a lot of material to pull through to get to that hole. Where did, it, where did my hole go? There it is. So we're almost there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is called the zigzag stitch. And that is where the material will be held together side by side instead of instead of being like this, it'll be like this. And the stitches will run in between both of those pieces of fabric, okay? If that if that is understandable. Now I'm gonna start with my foot down. And I'm also gonna start with my needle down in the fabric. Now I'm gonna turn my machine. Here you can see on my dial, this is a very simple machine. I've got the stitch length is all the way up at the biggest stitch length, which is a four on this machine. And then my zigzag, I'm gonna go all the way up to the zigzag, the biggest zigzag, which is number five, okay? I'm gonna start with my needle in the machine. I'm gonna get my fabric in position here. Put that down there. And I'm just gonna hold this fabric together. And I gotta turn my machine a little bit because I'm sitting kind of sideways here. Get my pedal, sorry about that guys. Like I showed you before, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a, a few stitches straight and a few stitches reverse. And I'm gonna go over this section twice to make sure that it's stable and solid, okay? Now, before I pull it all the way out, I'm just gonna make sure I've caught that. See, there's still a little hole there. Like I said, I'm sitting kind of crooked here, so to me, it's a... Uh, I gotta make sure that both sides of that fabric get caught. Okay, now let me bring my needle up again and make sure I've got that. Okay. Let me get my scissors out of here. Okay, now see, no more hole and you can't even see on this because it's white on white, you can't even see the stitching. So that hole is fixed and now I'm gonna be able to put this in the wash machine and um, I'm gonna make sure that I get it all nice and clean and we're gonna get it on my daughter's bed here shortly. I've got a few little projects I wanna do to finish her room up. Let me aim you up here, see if I can turn you around so you can see me. I'm kind of in tight quarters here. This is my makeshift craft room, sewing machine room. And um, right now, I've because we took some things out of Kayla's room already and different things, I'm kind of crowded in here again and I've got to find a place to put some things. So um, anyway, uh, I'll come back and show you when we start doing a little bit of a makeover to her room and how we get everything done. And uh, like I said, I've got a few more projects to do. Um, we're gonna make a like a sign that goes over her bed and maybe get a couple little, um, I'd like to get maybe some of those farmhouse style light fixtures um, to go up over her bed. And so, um, but we'll have to see about that. That could be a little bit pricey. So anyway, um, I thank you for joining me here on Life on Turkey Lane. 
um, hope. I hope that this video tutorial uh, helps you and that you can start using your sewing machine for projects that you would like to do. And um, share this video with all your friends. And if you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what what you would like for me to um, show you or what you want to do. Um, uh, if you like my cooking videos, if you like my painting videos, crafting videos, um, I do just a little bit of everything. I, I know some people, their channel is all about cooking or all about crafting or all about sewing. And I just kind of do it all. I just, you know, this is what, like, the reason I called the channel Life on Turkey Lane is because it's about my life and the different things that I do. So, um, comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know if there's something you would like for me to do. And as always, I hope you guys have a very wonderful night. Be blessed. Bye.